Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Erin and today I'm at Texas Roadhouse for a little mukbang. And then also since I haven't done a Q&A in a while and my channel has grown a decent amount since then, I thought it would be fun to reintroduce myself and answer some of the questions that you guys have. Fun fact, I've never had Texas Roadhouse before because it's like 45 minutes away from my house, but I thought this was like the perfect place to go if I'm just gonna like sit down and eat and answer questions. So, first off, I got a whole lot of rolls. Oh my gosh. I ordered a half a dozen rolls because I only got appetizers. I basically got their whole entire appetizer like menu so i wasn't sure if the the rolls came with it but clearly they do <laughs> so i got rolls for days <laughs> i got the combo appetizer platter and this one has barbecue boneless wings rattlesnake bites which i honestly don't even know what those are but hopefully they're good and fried pickles and then i got another combo appetizer which came with the wings again twisted mozzarella sticks which these look <laughs> really yummy and then the tater skins which i think are like loaded baked potatoes but like just the skins i'm not really sure i'm just gonna bite into all this and see how it is and then lastly i got the cactus blossom which is like a blooming onion from outback i'm pretty sure and those are so good so this probably is just like that and a whole lot of honey cinnamon butter. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so I have a whole bunch of questions to answer, but first I really wanna try their roll with their infamous honey and cinnamon butter. So <laughs> let's try this. Oh wow. <laughs> The roll is like so soft and pillowy. And the honey cinnamon butter reminds me of like something that you would buy at like Philly pretzel factory to like dip the pretzels in. Like it literally tastes like a dip. <laughs> so this is the cactus blossom and it comes with Cajun horseradish sauce. So let's try this. Oh, that's good. I love that sauce. I feel like this is like the perfect thing to bring home and like eat while you're watching like a football game I don't know why this is like it reminds me of that maybe because when I get home Orlando and I are gonna watch the the games that are on yeah this is like a good like Super Bowl Sunday <laughs> kind of appetizer very tasty I love that sauce it has a really nice crunch to it I might like actually try and figure out how to make this at home. Would you guys like want to watch like videos like that? Like making um, like fast food items like at home, like a remake of it. I love to cook. I cook dinner like every single day for, for us. I love to have my family over and cook dinner for them. So I feel like that would be really fun to like also cook on my channel but i don't know if that's something you guys would be interested in so definitely let me know i would totally rate this a 10 out of 10. this is really good So for anybody new here, hi, my name is Erin. I live in New Jersey and I am engaged to the most wonderful person in the whole world. His name is Orlando and you will hear me talk about him a lot. <laughs> 
Um, and I am 26 years old. A lot of you guys have asked me how old I am or um, my one video when I said I worked at Starbucks like back in the day. Everyone was like, back in the day, you look, you're 16. <laughs> I know that I look young. I know I look younger than my age. I do not think that I look 16. <laughs> I think that's a little bit of a stretch, but no, I'm not 16. I am 26. Um, I am engaged. I have a house. I have two dogs. I have a wedding coming up. Um, I am a grown adult. <laughs> so first question, I love your videos. You're definitely one of my favorites that I can't wait for you to post a new video. That is so sweet. Thank you. Uh, you're so down to earth and just a positive vibe. What interested you in starting YouTube? So that's a really good question. Um, honestly, my whole entire life, like when I was little, like I wanted to be an actress. I wanted to be famous. I wanted to like, you know, I wanted the whole world to know me. <laughs> like I've just always been like a very like outgoing person. Um, and yeah, like that was just something I always like aspired, even though that was totally unrealistic. I can't even, I can't even like pretend to lie. Like I'll try to like play a joke on Orlando and he's like, bro, you suck. <laughs> um, but anyway, I just like, as I got older, I started really like enjoying watching content on YouTube. And I was just like, oh my gosh, like that would be so much fun to do. So that's why I started my channel. Um, I know I have another question asking me like why I chose to do, um, like food content honestly I was not planning on doing food content if you subscribe to my channel like right off the bat then you know that originally my name was Erin vlogs because I intended on making this a vlog channel um and then when I was trying to make a list of content to do before I even like posted my first video I couldn't think of any actual like vlog content because I don't do anything <laughs> Um, and then I was like, I thought it would be fun to do my first video as letting the person in front of me decide what I eat for 24 hours, um, but still keep it more of like a vlog channel, not a food channel. Um, and then that video kind of like popped off. I, it's still my most popular video to date. It has over 11,000 views on it. Um, which I know isn't like anything crazy, but that was my first ever video. So I was like, oh my gosh, like I had so much fun making that. So many people liked it. Like, let me make another one. <laughs> and then I made, you know, another food video. And then I was like, wow, like this is so much fun. Um, I don't even know how I would have a vlog channel because I don't, like I said, we really don't do much. Um, so yeah, I, I kind of just fell into it and I really enjoy it. I think it's so much fun. And I mean, who doesn't love to eat? Let's be real. <laughs> so that is why I have a food channel and that is why I went down this route. It kind of just fell in my lap in a sense. Um, so yeah, will your fiance be in any videos in the future? I would love to see you both reviewing food and beverages. Um, honestly, probably not. Like you might see him here and there, especially if I'm doing like a video at home and he's like around, I'd be like, come, like, come say hello or whatever. Um, but most of the time when I'm filming, he's at work. He has like a, you know, a nine to five typical job. So nine times out of 10, he isn't even home when I'm filming and when he is home he just wants this to kind of be more of my channel this is my thing he's so proud of me for doing this it's so sweet uh and he thinks it's really cool but he just wants to cheer me on from the sidelines and I totally respect that what is your dream car so um really my like dream dream car would definitely be a Range Rover I love them but they're not practical I mean they're very expensive but also too like they have made it clear they're not built to last and I'm very like I want a car that's reliable I want to have children I want to have a family and I don't want to have to get a new car every few months especially when you're spending that kind of money on a car um so Actually, it's funny. Orlando and I made like a vision board um, 
a couple weeks ago and I put a Toyota Sequoia as my dream car on that vision board. I think they're so nice. Um, they're like a luxury SUV and they're perfect for when we have children because we can fit, you know, a whole baseball team of kids in the car and they're really nice looking and they're reliable. So one day I will own one. Okay, let's try some of these. So like I said, these look so good. So I really wanna try them before they get cold. It came with marinara sauce. You could pick like what sauces you want. So I'm glad they had that. Let's see. I think I can get like a cool cheese pull. Let's try it. Mm. No. I guess it's not hot enough anymore. The fact that they make these as twists is like so interesting to me. Like I would love to know how they're able to make it this shape and keep it this shape when they put it in the fryer. Like, you know, if you like twist your hair, the second you let go, it untwists, right? So like, how do you twist this and it not untwist? Maybe the cheese is like warm. Is that like the stupidest question ever? I probably sound like an idiot, don't I? <laughs> Let's try the potato skins. Sip in some sour cream. Hmm. I don't know if I really love this one. I feel like the normal baked potato is a little bit better than this, but I'm sure, you know, everyone else has a different opinion, a different experience. I just like to have mostly potato with sour cream and then like the toppings opposed to just a little tiny bit of potato like this one is. The wings are pretty good. I mean, I feel like boneless wings are pretty average. Like I just got barbecue sauce. Okay, next question. Do you watch other food reviewers or challenges on YouTube? And if so, who do you watch? Um, so honestly, like I mostly watch couples channels. I really enjoy watching couples channels. Um, I do watch like Steph Pappas and Daisy Sue sometimes. Um, don't get me wrong. Obviously, they're way more successful than me, you know. <laughs> Obviously, they're doing something right. Um, but I don't know. I just find like couples channels like so entertaining i love jd vlogs they're probably my favorite i like charles and Alyssa. i like lauren and ari from the bachelor so i watch them a lot um but as far as like food reviewers yeah really just like daisy sue and steph pappas sometimes <laughs> this one's fun do you have a favorite red bull flavor <laughs> original i love the original Red Bull. I don't think anything can top that. Um, I've tried other flavors, but I don't know. There's just something so addicting about the original Red Bull when you just like crack that top open and you take your first sip. It's like, oh, it soothes the soul. <laughs> Ooh, I like this one. I know you said you can't wait to have a baby after you're married. <laughs> So exciting. I'm wondering if you think you'll document pregnancy updates slash baby content or remain strictly a food channel. I love your videos so much. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you so much for like watching and supporting. I mean, the fact that you know that, like I know that you watch my videos. <laughs> so I've actually given that a lot of thought. Um, and it's something that Orlando and I have also really talked about. So we have kind of decided that this channel is going to stay a strictly like food channel, my channel. Um, I don't want to like switch it up and you know, the people that subscribed for the food content then not be happy with the other content or just kind of make my channel like all over the place. So this specific channel is staying a food channel, but once we get married which our wedding is in october so we're getting close 
Um, we want to make a second channel, more of a family channel, something that him and I can do together. And then we will document everything. That channel will have our wedding video, our honeymoon, like more of vlogs there. Um, cause I feel like once we're, we're married and are, you know, having a family, there'll be a lot more to, uh, document and vlog about if that makes sense right now we're kind of just chilling <laughs> kind of in like limbo um just waiting for that wedding so we can really like start the next chapter um so yes that is something that I would love all of you guys to be a part of and to you know also be a part of that channel I totally understand if you don't want to be but yeah so once that channel is made I will um probably share on on here maybe like in the uh, community post or something and then you will get that kind of content on that channel. Um, so I would love if all of you supported me there and really got to know me better on a more uh, personal level, more family level. Um, but if not, I totally understand that too. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for all the questions you guys left. I hope that I answered a good amount of them and you guys got to know me a little bit better. I feel like sometimes it's hard to really get to know somebody on more of a personal level doing like food content because I'm really most of the time just like sitting in my car. I've had, I have a couple videos at home, but nine times out of 10, in my car by myself so you don't really see like details about me so I feel like these Q&A's are are fun to get to know me a little bit better and if you guys enjoy these and want me to do them maybe like once a month or once every couple months um I would totally be down to do that as well um so let's try the rest of this food because I came here to do a mukbang and I've really just been talking most of the time <laughs> I guess I'm not as good at multitasking as I thought I was um, but we have the rattlesnake bites and the fried pickles. I know I already got the, uh, the barbecue wings. I already tried them. Um, but I thought the combo platters were like the best way to get like the most amount of food. Um, and they only had five options. So that's why I got the wings twice. I figured I'd bring the rest home for Orlando, but anyway, let's try these. I literally have no idea what they are. So we're just gonna... I'm just gonna take a bite and find out. <laughs> I don't know if I like that. Oh my god, that is spicy. Is that why they're called rattlesnakes? Because <coughs> they're gonna kill you. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. Now I need to look up and figure out what these are. Okay, so these are basically like jalapeno poppers um, with mozzarella cheese in them. Probably the worst one to not <laughs> figure out what it is before I tried it because that was very spicy and I was not expecting it. <laughs> um, this is like the sauce I think that comes with it, but... I think I like it better with ranch. <coughs> but is this the inside? Can you see that? I think the inside is just, I don't really like that texture very much. Um, I definitely prefer like jalapeno poppers and the texture on those. Okay. Last thing to try is the fried pickles. are pretty good I love pickles but I am just a little bit scarred from the last video that I did so maybe <laughs> if I eat these in like a month <laughs> I'd enjoy them a little bit better I have a little bit of like PTSD They are good though. So all in all, I would probably rate my experience at Texas Roadhouse maybe like a 7.5 out of 10. I loved the rolls and the honey cinnamon butter. I mean, I feel like that's what makes Texas Roadhouse have that hype, right? That's what everybody talks about and they are definitely very good. And then the cactus blossom was also delicious. That 
I'd say 10 out of 10. I would definitely come here just for that. <laughs> but um, the rest of the stuff was good. I just don't really think it was like anything special. I like it. Um, I'll for sure eat the leftovers, but I don't know if I would drive all the way back here for them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so you never miss a video. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.